Hi right, guys, we're at Ivan Susan here again from Vloggers on the Loose. We're approximately 50 kilometers south of the Perth CBD. We're in a suburb called Safety Bay. So, never ever been out here guys, but it looks pretty good. Uh, the water's quite calm because there's a, like a sandbank going right across there. So this suburb's got about 7,400 residents over here and it's built over an area of about 4.6 square kilometers. So um, there's a bit of seaweed in, in the water over here, but that's normal, it is the ocean. And, um, but yeah, it looks quite good over here. It's quite, there's a few people over there, um, windsurfing over there, or kite surfing, whatever they call it. And um, it's supposed to be a lot of bird life out here also. There's a lot of seagulls over there on that sandbank and some other darker colored birds over there also. And there's a sign there that says shallow waters, navigate with caution. So I'm assuming you shouldn't be diving in here because you might hit your head on the sandbank or something and then you'll be in trouble. So what do you guys think so far? Well, um, there's a boat ramp by the way, yeah, right here in front of us. So you can uh, get your boat down there and off you go and do some fishing. So we'll show you guys around the suburb shortly. So guys, we're here on the, on the main road in Safety Bay, right in front of the ocean over there. And it's quite a nice um, house over there. It's quite a few decent sized houses um, on the foreshore over here in Safety Bay. And that's the bay over there. So um, here's a few, um, few single-storey houses here also. I'm assuming they were here a long time ago. They look, look reasonably old. But then you've got a few of the modern, um, well, not modern, but um, double stories. Because that one there isn't that modern. It's only got a single car garage on this one. Maybe it goes a long way back, the interior part of it. Maybe you can't fit two cars in there, you'll have to park them back, back to back, or back to front, whatever. Um, but it's only a single car garage on that house. Now here's a, um, a block for sale, guys. So see this driveway here? That block's behind that fence over there, so it goes, uh, it goes down, so that'll have to be built up in there. Um, there's people who obviously subdivided their block, and they, that block's for sale behind that house. They're saying with ocean views, you'll have to build a three-storey, that there's the actual block there. 472 square metre block, guys, and that, that there's that driver I was talking about. So um, that block's actually on the market for 450,000 Australian dollars. Not, not a huge block. Looks like, we, I haven't been in there to have a look because it's private property, but um, looks like you need a lot of earthworks in there. So your 450,000 will stretch out to 600K probably before you're even ready to build. Here's a cafe over here, guys. There's a cafe over here on the left hand side and that's pretty packed. Poor Cafe Barco. Pretty packed out and there's a little shopping strip there if the camera swings around. There's a um, fish and chip shop there and a Thai restaurant and a pizza place. So um, This is the main road along the foreshore in Safety Bay. And there's a bit of restoration work happening here on this old house. You can see a lot of things going, going on over here. Look at that, they, they're doing something in there. Quite a lot of things actually. Here's a nice modern sort of house here guys. That old top part there is glass, glassed in. 
or pear specks in. It's like the it's like the al fresco area on top. That's all it is. And then you've got one of the old original houses here. And then right next to it, you've got a, a fairly big house here. This looks like it's concrete panels. So this house here was built from, out of concrete panels. You can see that, it's quite an interesting house. Quite a nice house actually. Have a look at the roof guys. Looks like waves. Um, yeah, very interesting looking house. So what do you guys think of uh, Safety Bay so far? It looks quite a nice area actually. That park across there to your right on the beachfront. That's quite nice, nice and green. Just trying to navigate all the, all the cars here guys. It's a bit of a nightmare. This road's quite busy along the beachfront. There's also a play area in that park over there. So guys, um, the suburb was established in the 1900s when it became a popular venue for family holidays. It looks like it's still a popular, popular venue. Now, some history on the suburb, guys. The bay had been noted by Surveyor General John Septimus Rowe in 1837 as a safe, well-protected boat anchorage. And he gave it the appropriate name of Safety Bay. Check this out, out here. That's, uh, Uh, it's all cracked over there on the balcony. And next door, I don't mind this house. I don't mind this house at all. I like all that, um, all that limestone work around it there. It's only a single story, but it'll, it'll get the views. Quite a nice looking house. Would have been better if it was a double story because you'd get much better ocean views. So guys, um, like I said before, um, it's 50 kilometers from the Perth CBD, but Fremantle is only a 30 minute drive away from here. And uh, north of here, Fremantle's north of, of uh, Safety Bay. But look at this car, or old truck, it's only the front part of it, where they've created a, a garden there. It's quite quite well done actually, and they've put that in there as a centerpiece with a couple of uh, cactus around it. That's quite interesting. Um, and Mandra is only a 20-minute drive to the south of the suburb, so you've got Fremantle one side and Mandra the other way. And of course you've got rock enamel, so we're just quite close. So you don't really have to go into the Perth CBD, guys. I don't know why, what the big deal is all the time in every write-up about Perth CBD. But uh, these outer suburbs have got... Here's a nice house here. Check this out. I like all that um, limestone or rock-type brickwork around there. That looks good. Yeah, I don't know what, what the big deal is about being close to CBD because a lot of these outer suburbs now um, have got all the amenities that, or even more amenities than the CBD uh, can offer you. So if you're living out here, you've got everything out here. Not a problem. So, guys, there's also a yacht club out here. which has been there since 1946. I haven't seen it yet, but it, it did say in my notes that there is a uh, yacht club out here. 
Must be somewhere out here. And uh, guys, there's a there's a primary school in the suburb, and there's an the Shoal, Shoal Water, which is another suburb out here. That's the closest shopping centre. It's we passed it. We thought we were actually in Safety Bay when we passed it, so it sort of all mingles into one out here. So Shoalwater IGA is the closest shops. And for major shopping, you'll have to go to Rockingham Centre, which I said isn't, isn't too far from here at all. And there's quite a few parks in this area, guys. And um, Orcas Street Reserve is one of the biggest ones and it's also got a lake incorporated in that so we'll check that out um, shortly so we'll take you to the next part of safety bay and show you around there hey okay, guys we're still here in safety bay and this is called the hawker street reserve and it's a, a huge park with a uh, lake in the middle and a massive load of bird life. You can hear them all. And uh, there, there's also houses built around here, yeah? around the lake. So there's a house here that fronts this lake. It's um, quite, quite an interesting um, spot over here because you can see all those white cockatoos in the, in the trees over there. And then you've got a, a nice house over here that fronts that lake. Quite a nice, quite a nice looking lake actually. There's a lot of other bird life in here also. There's ducks I've seen in the in the lake, but these co these cockatoos, there's a few up here, you can see them there in the tree. And that they're the ones that make in all the noise, guys. So you'll either love it or you'll hate it if you if you lived over here, because you'd be listening to this all day. And there's um, families over there in the park on, on the left hand side, um, having some sort of get together over there. So it's quite a pleasant um, looking park over here. Here's a lot of, um, here's a few ducks over here in the water. But um, the, these um, white cockatoos definitely um, control, control the space out here. Look at them all. Actually, you wouldn't want to... <laughs> you wouldn't want to be walking under there and a few drops hit you on the head or on the, on the shoulder. I'd be mighty peed off, I tell you. <laughs> I'm not sure if if I can put up with all this noise all day because this will be a constant thing all day long and um, don't know if if it'll be like this at night time but obviously the people who live here like it because look at these houses they're right on the lake over here so what do you guys think of this Hawker Street Reserve I think it's quite quite nice apart from these cockatoos making all these damn noise the ducks are good because they don't make much noise. That's them there, that's the culprits there guys. They're everywhere. Let us know what you think of all that noise. Let us know if you'll put up with that. Okay, we'll, we might take you to a different um, part of Safety Bay now because this is um, getting quite noisy. We'll see you there shortly. Okay guys, we're still in uh, Safety Bay over here and there is actually a shopping area here. Didn't show it on any of the maps I looked at, but it's called Malibu, Malibu Road or Malibu Shopping Centre. It's actually got a fresh essential shop in there and an IGA and a liquor shop, fish and chips and um, a few other little specialty shops. It's not a huge thing, it's called Malibu Shopping Centre and it is on Malibu Road in Safety Bay. 
So there you go. You've got your own little shopping centre out here, guys. Not huge, like I said, but enough to get you by. And it's lunchtime and there's fish and chips there and I'm hungry. But Susan doesn't eat seafood, so... Oh, there's hamburgers there. And hamburgers. So guys, we'll just take you to another little um, section of Safety Bay here. Another little um, residential part. Because we've taken you along the coastal road there with all the the bigger sort of houses but now we'll take you into the into the the guts of the suburb and show you the the smaller houses so here we go just try and navigate some traffic over here we should be okay interesting house straight in front So guys, um, what do you guys think of Safety Bay so far? Seems like an interesting sort of area. This is the back of the shopping centre here by the way. On the left over here. Doesn't look like much but it is the back part. So these houses here will, will be looking at that. That's their view. And across there, I don't know what that is. School. Mal Malibu, um, Malibu School. Primary school, I think. So guys, there's no train out here. Um, the closest train station will be at Rockingham and uh, there are buses out here that will take you to and from the train station. What's going on here? They've got a, know, all this sort of like a safety fence around here, but, but it's not, it's an actual fence. It's a bit odd what they've done there. Anyway. There's another park across there. Oh, that's part of the school, I think. It's got floodlights there, so they obviously play some sort of night games over there. So this here is um, just one of the side streets, guys, going through, through Safety Bay. I uh, just picked a random street, nothing, ne never, never planned it, just picked a random street. And this thing here, guys, see this metal enclosure over here, on the middle, in the middle of the lawn? That's actually a boar, that's the old fashioned boars. They don't have them anymore, and that's the, that's um, where you can get your water from, to water your gardens, it's only for garden use. And that's what causes all the all the brown stains on the walls and that, because they haven't they haven't drilled deep down enough. If you um, if you go down enough deep enough, you'll get clear water. But if you just hit the water and say, "Yep, that's okay," um, go a couple of more meters down, and you should get clearer water, and you should avoid those stains. But that's the old-fashioned bore over there. And these days, you. They don't even have a, um, a little mound like that. I don't know what the, how they have it these days. Any boar experts out there, let us know. But they certainly don't have it like that. Here's another sort of park over here. There's quite a few parks around here, guys. Now, guys, what I'll do now is... I've, um, I've got a few house prices over here. So, and, and a block price. The cheapest block we saw was a 450 square meter block and that's at number 27B Seagate Street in Safety Bay. And um, that's a 450 square meter block like I said and they won 270,000 for it, 270,000 Australian dollars. 
This is a nice little cul-de-sac here. Um, what we have noticed, guys, there's a lot of cul-de-sacs here in, in Safety Bay, which is good. Slows all the traffic down and that, no through roads, all that type of thing. Uh, the houses over here look quite um, neat but old. Been here for quite a while. I think I did mention um, the suburb was established in the 1970s, I think. So they're quite old. Um, guys, the cheapest unit over here is at um, 430, unit 46, 436 Safety Bay Road. And it's only a two bedroom, one bathroom, one car garage. But the unit itself is a decent size for a unit. It's 100 square meters. And it's only um, 150 meters to the beach. And it's not badly priced, guys. Not badly priced at all. It's priced between 360,000 and 390,000 Australian dollars. And the strata fees for that unit because this is something that I don't I like these strata fees. It's $550 a quarter. So multiply that by four and you'll get your yearly amount. Over, over um, two and a half grand or something, over two and a half grand. So, guys, the cheapest house in Safety Bay is a four bedroom, one bathroom, two car garage on a decent sized block guys, 801 square meter block and it's at 36 Biscayne Street in Safety Bay and they ask him from 599,000 Australian dollars for that for that block have a look at these daisies on the lawn here <laughs> they look pretty cool they are weird but they look quite nice um, brightens things up a bit. Is a house there for sale? Um, don't know what that house is worth. So that's the housing part of it, guys. Um, might just get down to the to the um, to the median house price over here in Safety Bay, and then we'll wrap it up because we've showed you quite a bit in Safety Bay. So, um, guys, the median house price over here, uh, mind you, it's right on the beachfront, Safety Bay, is 570,000 Australian dollars. And the median unit price out here is 315,000 Australian dollars. Now, the land's, land's quite up there, guys. The land's quite expensive. Median land price out here is four hundred and twenty thousand Australian dollars. Have a look at this house on the left hand side. That looks quite nice. Very neatly kept, well kept. So this is just the back streets here of Safety Bay. Um, what do you guys think? Leave some comments. Let us know what you think of Safety Bay. Would you um, would you live out here? It's uh, a coastal suburb. So guys, we might just uh, wind it up over here. Anyway guys, I hope, hope you enjoyed this video on Safety Bay in Perth, Western Australia. Hey guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe guys. Get those subscribers to subscribe, all your friends, all your relatives, you know the drill. And uh, we'll see you in the next one guys.